Thank you, Madam President. Members, I will not regurgitate everything that the good Senator uh, just spoke about. I agree with all those things. I want to share uh, somebody from a rural district who has worked with uh, Dr. Wood, quite frankly, for since my time, him coming here, on ways to try to figure out how to get access to care in rural areas. We've done frontier legislation for hospitals to be able to hire doctors. Um, we've worked, and I was on BNP when this bill came through the assembly. I voted for this bill already. I think it's only gotten better uh, since uh, there has been amendments to it. As you guys recall, last year, um, I had my cousin, Dr. Daly, who got rural doctor of America. He, he, he's 71 years old. He's still practicing in our little community up there in a rural health clinic, and, and he has uh, privileges at the local hospital about 25 miles away. We cannot attract people like Dr. Daly anymore. They're, they're really hard to get out to our rural communities because they're just, quite frankly, you, you need to be a general practitioner, number one. Number two, there's most people going into specialties and there's just not a lot of, uh, enough of work for them uh, to pay off their loans and also, you know, the micro and all the things they deal with. So this bill, I think, is, in the, is moving in the right direction. It is definitely not perfect but it's a heck of a lot better than where we were. And I just want to echo the things that uh, Assembly Member Will or Senator Wilk brought forth. I won't talk about those again. I strongly urge a vote. This will help rural people get access. Thank you, Senator Dollar. If it's Dollar. not perfect, we'll come back and fix those things that aren't perfect. But for now, I think this is a step in the right direction. Thank I you, urge sir. urge an I vote on this will help. Thank you, Senator Dollar. Thank you.